Are you looking for a really, really cheap refurbished PC that you can buy right now? Let's take a look what's available. All right, so today what I wanna do is just go through some really, really cheap refurbished PCs. Let's say you have a project out there. Let's just say that project is, uh, it could be a secondary house that you only go visit every once in a while and you just need a really cheap PC. Or maybe your son is you know, 10 years old and you, know, you think he's gonna break it and you just want a really cheap refurbished PC. The only stipulation is that you, know, you want it to work, you want it to be fairly fast, so maybe an SSD drive in it, maybe eight or 16 gigs of RAM to handle some tasks and things like that, and refurbished is fine for you, um, but the cost is the main thing. So you want it kind of as dirt cheap as possible, and you want it to come with Windows, because we're talking PCs here. Um, now, if you've watched my videos in the past, a lot of people hopefully have, um, you're gonna know, I mean, I just wanna give a quick disclaimer, and I'm not gonna review these, these systems for people. I'm not gonna say, you know, I don't have them in-house, I'm not gonna review them. What I typically do is I go out and find different deals out there, and then I just show people what's available. I show you what the computer has, what it includes as far as RAM, CPU, disk, and then the price. And I try to get these, you know, kind of these deals that are gonna be pretty too good to be true type systems. Now these are refurbished, you gotta take everything with a grain of salt, you're not gonna be getting a brand new system, you're not gonna be getting the newest CPUs or anything like that, but these are gonna be CPUs that are very sufficient to do just normal tasks every day, eight to 16 gigs and an SSD, what else can you ask for, right? Anyway, stay tuned. If you don't like that, if you want to, you know, you want to see a review or something, you know, obviously this isn't for you. But if you want to go ahead and just go ahead and take a look at all these different systems that I'm going to show you, stay tuned. Oh yeah, and I'll have links to all these PCs in the description. All right, so I'm going to go through seven of these. This is number one. Let's get into this quickly. Now, I tend to like the little mini PCs when you can get the same, you know, for the same cost. If you can get a mini one, why not get it? So here's the first one of my choice. It's an HP 600 G1. Now, these are going to be older CPUs, but they're very capable. This is only an i3, but it's a 4160T. It's a G, uh, 8 gigs, I'm sorry, 8 gigs of RAM, DDR3. 256 gigabytes but solid state drive and that's actually a you know a pretty big upgrade in a small system like this and it does have t uh, Windows 10 Pro again this is a renewed computer and uh, it's Amazon renewed you can see right here and then also the the ratings all these computers are going to be over four so 4.1 out of five do your own research but this is a pretty good system to pick up if you want a really really small unit that's only a hundred and eighty five dollars uh, you can get it for 175 if you apply for the credit card let's keep going down the list see what else you can get for this really cheap price Here's another HP. This is the HP Elite Desk 800 G1. It's a little bit bigger than the last one, but it's still really, really small. This has actually got an i5, and it's got a 4570, you know, pure chip there. It's not going to be like one of the smaller ones. And uh, 16 gigs of RAM, 240 gigabyte brand new SS solid state drive, and Windows 10 Pro. And this is, again, renewed, Amazon renewed again right here. It's 19618 Really good deal. Again, I'll have links to all these systems if you want to take a look at them. But for the money, for 196 bucks, that's a pretty good system when you try to build it out yourself. Let's keep going. So this one's a little bit, I'm going to get into some other systems that are a little bit older, but they're going to get a little bit more with them or they're going to be a little bit cheaper. So here's one of the cheapest ones. It's an HP Elite 8200 Ultra Slim Desktop. This has still got an i5-2400S, so it's a really old CPU. So if you do have to do basic tasks, it should be sufficient. Because the RAM and the SSD really help. This has got 8 gigs of RAM, a 128 gig SSD, and Windows 10 Professional. It's renewed again by Amazon. And uh, this is only $118. That's less than the cost of Windows by itself. Just to keep that in mind, less than the cost of Windows if you were to buy Windows separately. So $118 is not a bad cost. Again, these are kind of throwaway machines, you know, for little tasks here and there. Maybe put one in your garage or something for tasks or things you have to do there. Let's keep going. This is uh, number four. This is gonna be a HP flagship pro desktop computer. It's an i5, um, eight gigs of RAM. This has got, uh, the reason for this one, it's 184.99 only, but this comes with a 512 gigabyte SSD. So if you're into like, you need a little bit more storage of SSD space. Now this one's gonna be a little bit older system. And uh, again, it's gonna be probably that, that, that older, it's not even saying here, but it's gonna be some of the, well actually it is saying, it's saying an i5 3470. So it's an older CPU like I guessed. And uh, Windows 10 Pro. 8 gigs, but it's got the 512 SSD, and you know, just that SSD alone might be 60 or 70 bucks, and then Windows usually like 120 bucks. I mean, right right off the bat, you're over the price of 184.99, so it's a good deal all around just for that burner computer. Let's keep going though. Here's a Dell. It's the Dell Opiplex 9020 Ultra Slim Desktop. 
This is an i, you know, this is again i5 4570s. Again, all these systems are older, so they're going to be in that kind of range there. This one's a little bit more expensive. It's two hundred and forty-four dollars, two hundred and forty-five dollars, whatever. And it's, but the reason is it's got sixteen gigs of RAM, so you got more RAM here. So these are for people that want that sixteen gigs. It also comes with a two hundred and fifty-six gigabyte SSD drive, and uh, it does have Win 10 Renew Pro. I'm sorry, Win 10 Pro again, and it's renewed by Amazon. So it's two forty-four ninety-five. So it's not too bad for the cost, especially with 16 gigs you know that's a lot of ram right now and in a solid state drive in there to boot so as we keep going there's two more left i wanted to show these are all really good bargains this one's probably the most expensive i think i had here and there's a couple little reasons but it's really just comes down to this is a lenovo um, these are kind of workhorses and you know everyone knows these are kind of used by a lot of people out there that are uh, in business and stuff but they, they tend to work this is an i7 though 4770 so pretty fast cpu even though it's older generation but 16 gigs of ram again and a 512 gigabyte ssd and that's 314 so around 315 dollars somewhere in that range the reason I wanted to just put this one out there is if you try to build this system yourself, you know, you're looking at like, like I said, 60, 70 bucks for the SSD, you know, it's 80 bucks for the RAM. That's what one something, to, you know, 150, 160 for Windows. That's two some. So you're, you're basically, you know, you get the i7, you get the case, you get the fan and you can't beat it. Even at 314, that's a pretty good deal. And then finally, the last one I have in my list here, my number seven, this is 288. Again, this is more of a microcomputer and, and Lenovo again, and they, they tend to work and last a really long time. This is the Think Center M900. And uh, this is got a little bit newer CPU. It's an i5 6500T, 8 gigs of RAM, and 256 gigs SSD. And uh, it does have Windows Pro. So this is a 288. And the reason is it's got the newer CPU in there. And it is a more of a micro, little, you know, smaller computer. Look at, if you look here, look at the size of a pencil compared to it. So it's a really cool system. Has a lot of ports on it as well on the back. A bunch of USB ports, you know, HDMI, stuff like that. So really good deal at 288. Again, for what you're getting, you know, you can't really beat it. All right, so what did you think? Well, if you're looking for this refurbished, cheap PC and you want to go out there and find one, just trying to help people with it and show you what's out there. I mean, you can definitely spend anywhere from that $100 to $200 price pretty easily and get a really capable system. I mean, when you compare it to like Apple systems, which I do a lot of videos on, I mean, you know, the price is so much cheaper. It's crazy. And again, these systems should work fine for basic tasks, you know, email, video, you know, well, not video editing, but e email and uh, browsing the web and stuff. And just watching videos, I guess, is, is the other thing I was trying to say. But at the end of the day, they're, they're not bad for the price. And if you're into this kind of stuff or if you just don't want to redo your own research, definitely take a look. I'll have all the links in the description so you can check them out and uh, we'll go from there. So anyways, you guys know I make videos on a whole range of stuff, including a bunch of technology. So definitely subscribe to my channel if you can. Check out my channel. Talk to you soon.